What's up guys, so we're in a hotel in London, about to head to the premiere. I'm just putting the last piece of my suit on, which is my bow tie. We're both pretty much ready to go. Here we go, it seems a bit yeah, balanced, doesn't it? Yeah, it out. All right, I'll sort this out. It's a bit, yeah, it's way bigger on this side. All right, I'll be back, I'll sort this out. Much better. Right, so, bow tie's on. This is my suit, I'm ready to go. Let me take you for a quick room tour. So, if you come through here, well, that's where you come in there. That's my wife. Roaming around. Come through here. A very messy bed, but we literally just dropped our stuff. We're running a little bit behind. Come out here, got some cool little, looks like Banksy style artwork. And this is the view from our hotel. <laughs> Not the best, <laughs> but literally we just, it was more about location. So the, the premiere is at the Royal Albert Hall. And this is like a two minute walk from there. So there's no travel time, which is perfect. Got some weird artwork, like very funky behind the bed. Bins. <laughs> Strange choice. It's because it, we're in trash city. Oh, okay. I, I get the theme now. Look, these, <laughs> these pillows are designed like bins. <laughs> so we're sleeping on bins tonight. Apparently some of the royal family are gonna be there. So I haven't really done many premieres. I'm gonna make sure I'm looking slick. I think this, the suit is looking sharp. This is my wedding suit, the suit that I wore to my wedding. So this is the lift. This is a different lift, isn't it? Look at this. These are the tickets. There we go. So our Uber's here. You look beautiful, my darling. In the cab. So we're just on the red carpet now. I don't think I've ever been on a red carpet like this before. This is super cool. So we just about made it, literally by the skin of our teeth. This is cool though, look at the sound. Lost, don't know where we are. Bumped into this man. Come on, here we are. You look sharp, mate. You too. So we've just got into the venue. Some venue this is. <laughs> Royal Albert Hall. Some venue this is. Look at this. Boys, we're looking for seat. We're looking for seat. Yeah, if we you know where it is, comment down below. <laughs> Just about to sit down, look who I bumped into, the main man I himself. Know, I don't know how you thought you could come to an event and I wouldn't be there. Is it even an event if Josh Denzel isn't there? No. It just isn't. I'm trying to be the next one. Love, look at the sharpness. I feel a little bit different. As soon as I put the black tux on. Mm. You know, there's that level of confidence that you don't get unless you're wearing a bow tie and a tux. Yeah, like people call you, like, just, just say Jez. Jez. Yes, sir. <laughs> Start calling people sir and all sorts. Just look at this. Look at us. Where we are. This is just... Right, so we've just got into our seats. The film's about to start in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Royal Hall and the world premiere of No Time To Die. This is some venue, isn't it, darling? You're obviously not allowed to film during premiere, so I'm gonna put the camera away now and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. Now, obviously I couldn't film during the actual movie. That's illegal, that's very bad. You can't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. But what I did do is I actually got the amazing opportunity to talk to the main characters, Daniel Craig and Rami Malek, two days before the premiere. So while I'm watching the film, let's cut back to that interview. Hope you enjoy it. Hello guys, how are you? Hey Jeremy. Oh, yeah. Hey. So I've got nine minutes and I've put together 10 questions and there's some pretty good ones, I think. Um, so let's just dive straight in so number one if you had to describe no time to die in three words what three words come to mind fucking good movie <laughs> i like that what are you most excited about for audiences to see when it comes to no time to die without giving away any spoilers fucking good movie, Very good movie. <laughs> A hell of a lot of action. All right, number three. This one's for you, Daniel. So you've played Bond amazingly. Uh, you'll be very missed and you will go down as a Bond legend. I think that goes without saying. Uh, how was it filming No Time To Die? Was it emotional knowing that this is your final film as Bond? And what's been your favorite of all your Bond films? Um, 
Yes, it was emotional. Yeah, it was very emotional, but it was also incredibly a lot of fun and um, and rewarding and, 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 and like creatively rewarding. And to get the chance to work with people like Rami and, and just everybody who's, who's worked on this film, a crew included. I, I'd say this was one of my favorite, most favorite experiences making the movies. It's hard not to say Casino because that was my first one. And I'll always look back at that and just remember it so vividly. But this has been this has been one of the best. Love that. Rami, this one's for you. How was it for you to play a villain? Now, I do a little bit of acting, uh, not on your you guys' level, but um, I, I, I can appreciate your craft. And I actually think I find it more fun playing a villain. So I wanted to ask you, how did you find it playing a villain? Yeah, well, our craft, right? But uh, <laughs> look, it, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's, it's, I'm sure every... A guy's life at some point you've looked in the mirror and, and said that you know Bond James Bond and one <laughs> might have repeated that a few times but to play the villain is it's also pretty savory man you really get to enjoy all the things that it takes uh, to to create a role and, and really act and uh, you know remove yourself uh, and transform into something that is entirely not you and that there are no limits to what you can do and there's kind of this you know irreverent feeling that you can have all the way through so uh there's there's kind of like a little wink and twinkle behind the eye that you get to have not only uh, not only shooting it but uh or, or on camera but throughout the entire process of filming great answer daniel I got married two weeks ago and my suit was inspired by Bond. It was inspired by one of your suits. Uh, oh. Bond's game, his suit game is, is powerful. It you just got a picture. Is. Say again? You got a picture. Oh, I, yes. Let me get my phone. Right. Oh. <laughs> Dude, come on. I'll, yeah. I'll find it. But while I find it, the question yeah. was, do you ever get to keep any of the suits? Um, I do I, and I keep them, but I, you know, I. I one of the problems is I'm so skinny when I do the movies that a <laughs> few pork pies and a couple of beers, they're very difficult to get into. Um, but I, what I do is I sign them when we give them to charity. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, I found the picture. It's probably yeah. not going to be very clear on here. Ah, congratulations. Oh, Gorgeous. my God, look at you two. Amazing. I'm just trying to look like you, Dan. I'm just trying to look like you. But the suit, it was, it was, um, it was a Tom Ford suit and it was inspired by James Bond. And Beautiful. Excellent. It made me feel like feel like the man really to the day. Good, yeah. it's good. Uh, oh, this is a fun one. So, the gadgets and tech in all Bond films are always incredible. Uh, so I've put together a few futuristic tech ideas that I thought we could do a quick fire round with. Now, I know you guys have got very good minds, not just in the movies, but in real life as well. Um, so this, this should be fun. So let's get into it. So the first one is, contact lenses that record everything you see and you can play it back later um oh. yeah it's like whatever you're looking at is being recorded with the contact. not think of anything worse oh man <laughs> <laughs> i'm kind of with you daniel on this one it, yeah, it was, just, uh, just horrible oh yeah. you no know, you go home and have those nights it's like what uh what did i do last mm. night i never yeah, want to know no, no. <laughs> yeah. so that's one I'm, I'm in agreement with you guys on that one uh, number two, okay, a, a smart removable patch that detects any ailments in the body and it can be used on humans and or animals. Mm. I'm enough of a hypochondriac as yeah. it is. Like, <laughs> okay. Jesus. Oh, you might have a cold. Yeah. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I mean, it'd be really good at detecting really serious things. Yeah. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be, I mean, that would change the world, wouldn't it? So it would, it would. And I don't like going doctors because I'm a bit like you like that, but you could just do the, do the patch and then you'd know without having to see like it. You've got dandruff. It's like, I mean, come on. It's like... <laughs> so there's two. Uh, number three, a phone that charges by your body heat. So you never have to charge it. You just hold it. It's charging. Oh, I don't want to hold my phone any more than no, I already I'd do. Oh, I do put the phone down. Yeah. The best thing in the about it, get rid. Yeah, I don't really want to have a phone. I mean, I don't like having my phone in my pocket anyway. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, last one. You've got to like this one. <laughs> Jetpack shoes that fly. 
so you can fly. It, it was, you've just said the best words yeah. in the world. Jetpack yeah. shoes. Yeah. I mean, come on. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think I'm out of time. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the, the, the yeah, little chat. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. I love it. It's like, right. it's like leaving parties. Right. See ya. <laughs> I'm out. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for the time. Before we go, for anyone who doesn't know, when's the film's release date? September 30th. Go see it. Yeah. September 30th. Go see it. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And hopefully I'll get to meet you in real life one day. Look forward yeah. to it, man. Congrats. Congratulations. So that's it, it's all done. Just coming out of the Royal Albert Hall now. He's started chucking it down with rain. What an experience. What an amazing film. What an amazing night. Got to look for a cab now. And uh, I think we're going to get a delivery. We'll just have a, have a nice night in our hotel. Yeah. Away from home. A little night in London. Yes. So, yeah, guys, as always, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your love and support. Uh, I've got to go and look for a cab now, try and flag one down.